majesty has condescended to grace us with his presence. Uh, be seated. Please, Lily, spare me the jokes. Today's starting out to be one of those days. Good morning, Uncle Herman. Good morning, dear. Good morning. Good morning, Grandpa. Mmm, what smells so good? I cut myself shaving. <laughs> No, dear. Uh, not the way you're dressed. <laughs> I'll get it. You can never tell when Mr. Wright is going to come along. And if you go to the door looking like that, you're liable to scare him off. <laughs> Front door. <laughs> Herman. <laughs> oh, no. Charlie. I knew it was going to be one of those days. Ah, oh, Lily. <laughs> oh, Herman's twin brother. Oh, Charlie, it's good to see you. Lily, you look just wonderful, my dear. A lot of people would just die to have a complexion like that. <laughs> Don't tell me. This is little Eddie. Well, the last time I saw you, my boy, you were this high. <laughs> oh, Marilyn, don't you look pretty, uh, uh, pretty. Uh, how you do in school, dear? Just fine, Uncle Charlie. Good, good, good. And now Uncle Charlie has a little something for each of you. <laughs> now let me see. What have I got here? Eddie? This is for you. Oh, boy, a bat in the box. Thank you, Uncle Charlie. And Lily? This is for you. Oh, Charlie. A new shroud. <laughs> oh, a girl can never have enough of these. <laughs> Madeline, this here's for you. <laughs> Greatest thing in the world for warts. <coughs> uh, now, don't worry, Grandpa. Old Charlie hasn't forgotten you. Good. Oh. Oh, it's a box of cigars. And the box, you see, is a great place to keep your ashes. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, tell me, where's Herman? He can't still be nursing a grudge against his own twin brother. Oh, of course not, Charlie. He loves you. He'll be right down. Oh, no, he won't. What's in the other suitcase, Uncle Charlie? That? That, Marilyn, my dear, is a little invention that is going to make your Uncle Charlie a million dollars. Million dollars? Oh, an invention. Hey, uh, by the way, you, you know, I happen to be a bit of an inventor myself. Uh, do you mind if I take a look at it? Delighted. What does it do, Uncle Charlie? It extracts uranium from seawater. <laughs> extracts uranium from seawater? I don't believe it. If you will allow me. Marilyn, please. I'll show you how it works. See? Good old everyday garden variety seawater. And contains 0.047 grains of uranium. Now, let me see here. I turn the machine on. Now I add the water. Is that really uranium? 
Well, there's one sure way to find out. I'll fly down to my laboratory and get my Geiger counter. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, uh, Grandpa, uh, don't do that. It's not necessary. Uh, I, I mean, I have my own. I always carry a Geiger counter with me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you'll make a fortune. Why, do you realize that uranium is worth its weight in gold? Well, what do you know? <laughs> well. It's getting late. I'd better find me a hotel. Say, how'd you do to Herman for me? Funny. I have a feeling that boy's been avoiding me. You're darn right I am. You're going to stay here with us. After all, you're Herman's only living relative. Oh, Lily, how sweet. Well, if you insist. Eddie, come along, my boy. You and me are going to dig up a little snack first. <laughs> <laughs> It's easy to see who got all the personality in that family. <coughs> Guess what, Herman? Charlie is staying with us. He's doing no such thing. I want him and this phony uranium machine out of this house this instant. What? Herman Munster, how can you talk like that about your own flesh and blood? Because I've known him longer than you. Charlie Munster is a scoundrel and a con artist from way back. Why, the doctor who put them together didn't have an honest bone in his whole laboratory. <laughs> oh, Herman, you're just jealous. <laughs> By having Charlie here in the house is like a breath of fresh earth. I agree with Uncle Herman. There's something not just right about Charlie. Marilyn's right. Just why is he showing up now? I'll tell you why. Lily, he's heard about that $5,000 your grandmother left you the last time she died. And he's here to cheat you out of it with that uranium machine. Why, shame on you, Herman. And just because of that, I'm going to check this machine and prove how wrong you are about Charlie. <laughs> Meanwhile, I insist he stay here. All right. All right. But you'll regret it. I keep telling you Charlie's always been the white sheep in this family. <laughs> when are you going to believe me? When? Never more! <laughs>